Hello and welcome back. In today's Black Excellence presentation, we will highlight 10 things you didn't know about Suzanne Shank. Welcome to BlackExcellence.com, the site where we celebrate Black excellence, opulence, and affluence. Our mission is to inspire you as we enlighten you. Suzanne Shank is a $2 trillion businesswoman and is unarguably one of the most powerful women on Wall Street. Shank's story is a fascinating one and shows how talent, hard work, and the ability to embrace change can have remarkable outcomes. She's broken through the glass ceiling that holds women back, especially black women, and she has gone on to be the chairwoman and CEO of Siebert Cisnero Shank & Company. Under her watch and from her offices in Detroit, her firm has grown tremendously by arranging billions upon billions in financing for airports, roads, schools, and other municipal and corporate projects across the nation. Her determination shows us that no matter what barriers are in front of you, you can break through them. This powerful black woman is one to remember as her trailblazing ways will continue to inspire and nurture more and more great minds in the African American community. In this original Black Excellence video, we will be featuring Suzanne Shank. So without further ado, let's get started. One, Suzanne is a native of Savannah, Georgia. Growing up in a middle-class family as an only child in Savannah, Georgia, Suzanne Shank was a gifted child who could read by the age of three. She excelled at math and science and was quite an overachiever. She was a straight-A student, cheerleader, homecoming queen, school newspaper editor, and valedictorian of the class of 1979. Her parents, Mary and Roger Shank, were her role models and instilled into her incredible work ethics. Her mom, a graduate of Spelman College, held a master's degree and would become assistant school superintendent. Her father was Georgia's first black bus driver, which helped him land a position as head of the Regional Transit Authority. Almost 35 years after graduating from high school, Shank would return to Savannah to structure a $15 million refinancing deal for the Savannah Airport Project in 2013. Two, Suzanne earned her MBA at the University of Pennsylvania Wharton School. Shank credits her guidance counselor for steering her to a STEM education, which eventually led her to enrolling at the Georgia Institution of Technology, where she earned a bachelor's degree in civil engineering. After graduating from Georgia Tech, Suzanne was attracted to the city of Atlanta and joined General Dynamics, a global aerospace and defense company. General Dynamics was opening a new facility in Atlanta that allowed her to work on their nuclear submarine program. However, after two years, it became clear to Shank that she was drawn more to financial management than engineering. So she shifted gears and applied to a handful of prestigious business schools. She was accepted at Harvard and Columbia, but decided to pursue her MBA at Wharton School at the University of Pennsylvania. Her parents were not thrilled that she was leaving a stable engineering job in corporate America for a degree in finance, but she followed her instincts and it was at Wharton where she became intrigued with Wall Street. 3. Suzanne is co-founder and CEO of Siebert Cisnero Shank. Siebert Bradford Shank & Company was started in 1996 by Shank, Napoleon Bradford, and Muriel Siebert, the first woman to own a seat on the New York Stock Exchange. Bradford and Shank built a successful boutique municipal bond firm when Siebert raised the idea of merging her firm with them. Shank was immediately tapped to serve as president and CEO of the merged company. After a turn of events, Siebert died in 2013 and Bradford retired, making Shank the majority owner of the firm. She acquired two new partners in Henry Cisneros and William Thompson, which resulted in the company's name changing to Siebert Cisneros Shank & Company. Today, her company employs 80 people in 17 offices nationwide, with dual headquarters in New York and Oakland, California. Four, Suzanne has participated in more than $2 trillion worth of transactions. Shank, along with her former partners, built a firm that has managed over $2 trillion in financing for municipal users, corporate bonds, and equity transactions. 
The transactions include more than $1.2 trillion in principal amount of municipal bond transactions and $800 billion in corporate bond and equity transactions since her company's inception. In 2010, her company made history by becoming the first minority or woman-owned firm to break into the top 10 municipal bond underwriters on Wall Street. Throughout her 30-year journey, Shank has been able to successfully pivot by adopting a don't-give-up mindset. 5. Suzanne is the first black woman to lead a publicly traded financial institution. With Siebert's death in 2013 and Bradford's retirement, the firm realigned its ownership structure under Shank's leadership to create the preeminent black, Hispanic, and woman-owned firm on Wall Street. She had to grow into the role of CEO with on-the-job training. She had to figure out how to balance managing clients along with compliance responsibilities, human resource activities, fair trade policies, as well as administrative duties. She was fully responsible for all aspects of the business while stepping away from her normal traditional banking role. Her drive and intelligence helped her think more strategically and she has been very successful in moving her business forward as a CEO. Today, her company ranks among the top 10 in seven key infrastructure categories for underwriting municipal bonds in the world. We would like to thank Hayden T. Joseph and Company they are an international tax team who can help American entrepreneurs and business owners expand and operate internationally. In particular, Hayden T. Joseph & Company helps American business owners expand to Southeast Asia. Visit www.htj.tax or check out their link in the description box below. 6. Muriel Siebert was her best mentor. Siebert, who was the first woman to own a seat on the New York Stock Exchange, would advocate, taking risks is sometimes what we have to do to advance our career. Shank worked closely alongside the Wall Street legend, Muriel Mickey Siebert, absorbing as much as she could from the first woman of finance. The knowledge and experience she gained from Siebert was a critical and large part of Shank's success. Shank acknowledges the late Mickey as a wonderful business partner, mentor, and friend. Shank is paying it forward by being a role model to her employees, committing extensive amount of time to mentor young people in Detroit, and supporting several mentorship programs for inner city youth across America. 7. Suzanne is a very successful businesswoman, but an even better wife and mother. Shank is a trailblazer and is one of the most successful African-American women ever on Wall Street. This is a monumental feat indeed, but her legacy is defined by her excellence, both in the office and at home. This working mom knows how to balance her priorities and feels it's very important to be a loving wife and extraordinary mother. Her husband, Sean Wordlow, is the chief operating officer of the company and has played a key role in the firm since joining in 2005. Together, they have two daughters who are currently age 15 and 19. 8. Suzanne has received numerous honors and awards. Shank has won several awards and garnered numerous accolades from a variety of organizations and publications. The Financial Maven has been inducted into the Academy of Engineering Alumni by Georgia Tech. A 30-year veteran of the industry, Shank was also named Entrepreneur of the Year by the National Association of Securities Professionals and Top 25 Women in Finance by U.S. Banker Magazine. She has also been recognized by American Banker Magazine and Wealth ManagerWeb.com as one of the most powerful women in finance. She was recognized by Essence Magazine in its Power List, by Black Enterprise Magazine as one of the 50 most influential black women in business, and as one of the 75 most powerful blacks on Wall Street. She has also been recognized by the Wharton School from among 100,000 graduates as one of its 125 influential people and ideas. Shank was also named the National Entrepreneur of the Year by the Madam C.J. Walker Center. 9. Suzanne is deeply committed to promoting mentorship. Remembering her humble beginnings, Shank is deeply committed to causes promoting mentorship of inner-city youth. 
having formed and supported various mentorship programs across the country. She is active in numerous industry and civic organizations and serves on several boards, including the Wharton Graduate Board of Trustees, Citizens Budget Commission, Women in Public Finance, Detroit Institute of Arts, and Detroit Regional Chambers, among others. She is also a member of the Spelman College Board of Trustees. She is heavily involved in the Charles H. Wright Museum of African American History. She spearheaded the formation of the Detroit Summer Finance Institute, an internship program that introduces high school students to the financial world. She is also the vice president of the founding board of the Water Access Volunteer Effort, which helps underprivileged Detroit residents pay their water bills. 10. Suzanne's Advice I've always seen myself as a business leader. Being a woman has armed me with attributes that are indicative of great leaders. Women tend to multitask well. Women promote collaboration and teamwork. Women are their own toughest critics, so we work hard. And as I said previously, we have great empathy for others. These are qualities necessary to be a great leader. And women are just wired with these strengths. By my goal is to be viewed as a leader, not only a woman leader, as I have great men working for me too. We appreciate the fact that you stayed with us until the end. Thank you for spending time with us and don't forget to like this video. Also, make sure you subscribe so that you never miss a video. Bye for now. We will see you tomorrow.